Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial Episode 9. Today we're going to take a look at Less CSS. So Less CSS is a dynamic style sheet language. Uh, as you all know, CSS you just write. There's no variables in it. There's nothing like that. Less lets you add variables. It lets you add, uh, they call them mix-ins. So you can see there you can put in rounded corners and then later just call header rounded corners and then you can even change the radius for the footer and it will compile out. Now there's a few different ways that you can implement this. You can download less.js and then it will compile your less files on the fly on the client side. And if we scroll farther down you can also do it on server side by installing the less package. And then there's also one more way where you compile it yourself and then you push the compiled CSS files up to your server. That's the way I like. Um, and then I like to do that with something called CodeKit. You see CodeKit actually started as less.app and now they've moved on to CodeKit, which is $20 now. Yeah, it's $20. CodeKit does a lot more than just compile less files. It'll compile SAS files. It will deal with CoffeeScript, Haml, uh, it can compress your images for you even. So let's get started and by adding our project, you can see I have my own personal site which I'm starting to work on already in there. So I am going to find my project on my second screen. And all you do is drag the folder in. Right now this is just my stock theme Comenzio that I start building with. You can see there's not much in here. There's some jQuery and a single image. I'm going to go back to styles. And I'm going to open up Sublime. And this is the standard WordPress starting uh, style file. First thing I'm going to do is rename it to less. And we'll actually look at some of our compression um, possibilities. So now we need to refresh this. So now we have our less file. And we can compile it. So I'm just going to hit compile. You can see in our directory we have our style.less file. And it has actually made it into a style.css file right there. That's not really what we want though. So we're going to go back to CodeKit. And we're going to set our output path. And we're going to set it right there to the root. And we'll compile again. You can see I have my style.css file. And I'm going to delete my old folder. As you can see now we've moved our import rules to the top and we've put our comments at the bottom. Now, there's not really a point in editing our style.css file because all it's going to do is recompile out of our less file, which is right here. So some other things to look at when we do our compiling is that you can do compression. So we could go minified. Now, see minified that actually stripped out all of our header comments. So this is not going to work with WordPress right now. It's not going to know what theme it is and it's just going to be a pain in the butt. That's not what we want. We can also go compressed with YUI. See, that's going to stick it all in one line. Again, this isn't quite what we want. So what I actually do when I build the file I'm going to delete my style.css file. I'll close that. And I'm going to change my style.less file back to CSS. Delete my first import. And then I import a single compile.css file. 
So it'll add here. Let's compile that CSS or sorry dot less. And this is where I'm going to work with all my files. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to import and I want to import preset.css and layout. And I actually want to import dot less. Now I'm going to change CSS, these two files to read less. So now that we're all saved, I can go back to code kit and refresh. And so now we're all set up. I've got my compile.less. And you can see now I have my compile.css file. Now I can actually do the minification as well. I'm going to compress with YUI. You can see now we have a minified CSS file. So normally what I do is I just leave compile.less as it is. And I would make my changes to layout. Another thing we can do here is I'll add a file called variables. And of course it's going to give me a compile error because I haven't named anything variables. So let's add a new file. You can tell I don't work with Sublime nearly as much. And we'll save that. And then we can do stuff like at black. So now when we save, we can save properly. So now in my layout.less, I could go and do And you can see that it works just fine. So now I have my black. There's a lot more we could do with less and I will do more in the future. Today we just showed you how to set up a WordPress file or WordPress theme with less. Um, in the future I'm going to show you uh, the variables I use for rounded corners um, and just how I build a whole site with less and how it's faster because we have a minified CSS file right off the bat.